Hi, and welcome to this Dreamweaver tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott, and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to look at adding some padding to the edges of our div tags. Because at the moment, you can see that we've got a colored background and these white um, div tags. Now, they sit to, they sit flush with the edge there on the left and a little bit too close to the things on the right. So what I'd like to do is add some padding just so it sits nicer inside the div tag. So, click inside the offending div tag. We're going to use the text div tag in this case. I'm going to, down in my breadcrumbs, click text. Okay, so it's selected. You can see it's selected here in my selectors panel. And I'd like to scroll down in the properties panel until we find padding. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to add 40 pixels. So I've just typed in 40 and hit enter. And on the left and on the right hand side, I'd like to enter 20 and hit enter. You can see it's added the padding. You can see this kind of, uh, if I click the div tag down here, the frosty stuff on the left and the frosty stuff on the right means it's 40 on the left. 20 on the right. The problem with it though is that it's pushed its neighbor down, which was our image div tag. It's pushed it below it because there's not enough room now. It's actually expanded the box by an extra 60 pixels. So what we have to do when we're adding padding, it's a bit weird, that Dreamweaver doesn't know that you want to um, substitute padding for the size. So it's 70, um, 700 pixels wide plus the padding. So what we need to do is go and find the width of this box. So make sure you've selected text in the text div tag down in the breadcrumbs. And instead of it being 700, okay, I want it now to be what, 640. Hit enter. Okay, so 640 plus the padding equals 700. So whenever you add padding to any boxes, you may have to go and remove it off the width. Okay, in terms of the height, this case wouldn't matter because we have no height set. You can see height set to auto, which means it'll expand and contract depending on what's in the box. So if we add a padding to the top or the bottom, it wouldn't matter. Great, let's do it one more time. Let's do it for the footer down here. Okay, so you can see the copyright is sitting right next to the edge. So I'd like it to push over the exact same. I'd like to push over 40 pixels. So I'm clicking inside the footer. I'm going to click the div footer in the breadcrumbs. And I'm going to slide down on my properties panel, and the padding here is going to be 40. Okay, and you can see it hasn't really made any difference because the foot is at the end. Um, it's our last div tag inside the container, so it's not going to really cause us that many problems because nothing afterwards. But you can kind of see in the right hand side here, it's pushed itself over 40 pixels. So let's do it properly. Let's minus the 40 pixels off this 1024. Okay, so that gets us down to. 900, 900, and 84. All right, great. So that's how you add padding to a div tag so that you can get things to line up. All right, that's it for the tutorial. See you in the next one.